What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, Just Be Wise, and today we're gonna hop into After Effects and show you how to make audio waveforms that react to your voice, just like this one right here. So let's go ahead, open up After Effects, and get in it. All right, so the first thing we do once we open up After Effects is we're gonna do new composition. Bam. Okay, and we're gonna name this composition audio. I can't type. Sorry, for whatever reason, I can't type. Audio wave tutorial or toot for short. All right, and we're gonna do this at 29.7. And now it's important that you put how long the duration is. A lot of people say to put how long the thing is that you're going to be making the audio waveform for. For the sake of this tutorial, we'll do it at like eight seconds. And that's good enough, right? Okay, so now we got this going. Let's go ahead and add a new layer. So we're gonna do layer, new, and we're just gonna do a solid. We're just going to do a dark gray solid, which should be fine. Make the same size as our comp. Bam. Okay. So once you have this, let's go ahead and get our audio that we're going to use. And I'm going to be pulling a track from some of the music I use from Soundstrike. So I just drop that on there. Bam. Okay. So we got my Soundstrike music here. Just give it a quick listen, see what it sounds like. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. So, this is the audio that our waveform is going to be reacting to. Now, let's go ahead and come back to our solid, right? We click on our solid here. And this is going to be one of the easiest things you guys have done. So, once you come back to our solid, we're going to go to effects. Right, and effects, what, what happened to my effects panel? Okay, if you ever lose your, your stuff, just come back to window, workspace, reset default workspace. I don't know what happened to my effects window. There we go. Okay, so we come back, we go to our effects workspace. The effect that you want is under generate and the effect that we're gonna use is audio spectrum. We're just gonna click, drag, and drop that bad boy right in the center. Now, the first thing we wanna do is go ahead and hit back onto composite on original. Composite on original just pretty much means that you don't wanna make it transparent background, okay? So you take this off, boom, transparent background, okay. First thing we need to do is make sure that this right here, this is our audio spectrum, wave, whatever, we need this to react to this, our music track. So we're gonna come up here, audio layer, you gotta tell After Effects what layer it's gonna react to, bam. Okay, so thus far, all we've done is put our effect on and told After Effects, yo, react to this music. So let's see what it looks like. Okay, so there's something, you know, we, we got it started. There is so much we can do to this. Okay, so we're not gonna stop here. We got so much more work we can do. Now, first thing, start point. This right here is this point here. So you look, we move this, it moves, you move this, it moves. So we can pretty much put that wherever we want. All right, but we're gonna leave that same. And it's the same for the endpoint, the same thing. You can just adjust this or adjust this. So, boom, easy, right? So frequency is essentially you're telling After Effects what frequencies you want to not include into the frequencies that it's showing. However, I don't know audio that well to cut out frequencies, so I usually wait and save these two for the end. Now frequency bands is how many little bars we gonna get. 
So I like to crank this up. I like a lot of bars. So I'm gonna actually change this to like 250 bars. So let's take a look and see the difference. Yeah, it's starting to look a little something now. Okay, we starting to see a little something now. And just so you guys can see the difference between 250, it was on 64. That, if you like a little bit more spacing, you will have less. I, again, like I said, I like this to be nice. And now at your maximum height, you can stretch this, obviously. So I, again, I like, I like this thing to be nice and big. So I'll make this 2000, you know? Okay, because now this is looking nice. Let's take a look at this one more time. We've only made two minor adjustments. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, it's looking mighty nice now. Okay, we starting to do a little something. Okay, so now we have the duration, obviously is how long is the effect gonna be on, and offset is how quickly is the effect gonna react. So obviously at zero, because we want it to react instantaneously. I'm actually good with how long it's on. Um, I'm not gonna adjust this, obviously you can. And now, Thickness. Thickness is how thick or thin are your bands. I like, you know, again, you know, I like my my bands to be a little a little thinner, just cause it it to me it just looks clean. This looks clean. Now I don't like the softness so much. I usually change softness to actually. What am I doing? I like softness at zero. Now that, that kind of gives it like a little uh, glow effect, I think. And I don't want that right now. So let's take another look. Bam. Bam. I'm liking this. Okay, okay. All right. I'm liking this. However, I don't like these colors, right? They're not bad colors. I think they look fine. But let's pick something else, okay? So let's go ahead. We're going to pick green. I'm feeling kind of kind of green right now and we're gonna pick like a blue I want to pick yeah okay it's like a green blue I like I like this thus far okay and now the next thing we can do is we can mess with the hue interpolation and we can kind of have it do this uh, where it's gonna kind of like almost like a gradient Kind of thing going on as you can see it's going to be fading it's going to go from the green to blue but then it's also going to do our whole color spectrum here so let's take another look and see what this is like oh yeah this is looking fire now nah. yeah okay yeah i'm liking this i don't know if y'all liking this like i am but i'm getting hyped okay so we're gonna skip down a little bit more and we're going to talk about these two and then we're going to go ahead and render this bad boy okay so now these are the different types of ways it's going to look we have digital which you guys have already seen let's look at analog lines okay and now let's look at analog dots. Now, if I were to do analog dots, there'll be significant amount of changes I'll have to make. One, you have to increase the thickness a lot. Let's take a look at this again where you can actually have a good view of what this looks like. Let me just increase this thickness to six. We're actually gonna turn up the softness a little bit. Okay, now let's see what it looks like because that was a terrible uh, example for you because you couldn't really see it. Okay, um, that looks kind of fire. Again, I think if you're doing dots, now this is the next thing. So you have side A, B, or both sides, right? And this is lets you know 
where do you want the effect to show so so far we've been doing side a and b so it's showing top and bottom if we do side a it's just going to be the top if we do side b obviously it's going to just be the bottom so for something like this if i was using the dots i would probably use just on the top i think that looks kind of dope i'm just makes it look like they jumping a but as i already said i'm a big fan of the digital style with the bars this also i think looks sick but we're not worried about that right now uh, let me just show you what b looks like although i think this is kind of sick but i'm not the biggest fan of upside down so okay now we can go ahead and a render so we go ahead and get if you want to render with your solid let's render that first control m it's going to bring you to the render queue go ahead and hit your output mode i will do this as a quick time animation that's it boom you're done hit ok you're ready to render all right however if you want to do this as a transparent background here's what you want to do Control M BAM you're gonna do quick time animation right but now you want to do RGB plus alpha and you hit OK and it'll render out with a transparent background so that's one of the oh my daughter's hype sorry about that but that's one of the um, more annoying things it took me a little while to find out in after effects nobody was really teaching how to render transparent backgrounds and such blah 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 but that's how you would do it there and then just place your file wherever you want and that is it ladies and gentlemen super easy to do um hopefully this was something that was helpful for you one of the easiest things to do in after effects so if you're trying to get your feet wet in after effects and you just want to hop in there and start playing around this is probably the easiest thing you can do. Um, if you have any additional questions or, you know, comments, go ahead, hit me up in the comment section down below. If you like the video, please like the video. And as always, I give you some tools to create. Now go be great. Peace.